Today you probably clicked on this video because you have some sort of a math problem that says you have a ladder that's leaning against a wall or a ladder that's leaning against a building. You need to find the angle that's made between the ground and the ladder or maybe uh, the building and the ladder, right? So we're going to tell you everything you need to know to solve these, all right? If your problem looks like one of these, you can skip right now to whichever part of the, of the video that you need by using the video player down below, right? Just drag the little red dot to whichever problem looks like yours. Uh, but otherwise, you're going to need a calculator and something to write with and we'll get started, all right? This first one, it looks to me like I'm given these two side lengths. I have this bottom one and the portion that the ladder goes up the building, which is 10. All right, I'm trying to find the angle that's made between the ground and the ladder right here. And on mine, on all these, they're called theta. All right, that's just a Greek letter. You can call it X, you can call it whatever you want, but we're going to solve for that angle. To do this, we have to use inverse trig operations. Okay, and in this case, compared to my theta, I have the opposite and the adjacent side. Well, opposite adjacent, remember your Sokatoa. Uh, if you don't, I have a video up here where you can learn about all that, but the opposite and adjacent comes after the T, the T for tangent. So we're gonna say tangent of our angle, call it theta, again, you can call yours X or whatever, equals the opposite 10 over the adjacent two. And you can simplify that if you want it to be five, but in order to find theta, we actually have to take, we're gonna say theta equals the inverse of whatever trig function we're using. So the inverse tangent of 10 over two. All right, and you can type that in the calculator just like it looks. Now you probably know where sine, cosine, and tangent are if you're using a TI calculator or a Casio or something like that. To find um, the inverse, it's usually right above it. So you might have to hit the second button and then hit that tangent button. So on mine, for example, I hit second, tangent and it opens up uh, parentheses there with the inverse tangent. And I'm just going to type in 10 over 2, 10 divided by 2, and this gives me uh, 78.69 is theta. So theta equals 78.69, and of course this is in degrees because we're solving for the angle. All right, problem number two, this time, oops, <laughs> problem number two, this time we have 14 and 17 in these positions, and we're trying to find this angle between the building and the ladder. Okay, so again, compared to this angle, I have the adjacent and the hypotenuse. The adjacent and the hypotenuse is going to be cosine, right? The A and the H, so that's going to be cosine there. So we're going to say cosine of theta, our angle, equals the adjacent 14 over the hypotenuse 17. Again, to find theta, we're going to use the inverse of that trig function, cosine. So the inverse of cosine, and then just type 14 over 17 in the calculator. Let the calculator do all the work for you. Okay, let's see here. Inverse cosine 14 divided by 17 is 34.56. So theta equals 34.56 degrees. All right, last one, number three. This time we're finding, again, the angle between the ground and the ladder. And I have this part, which is four, and the 26 up here. So compared to my theta, the four is the adjacent side, the 26 is the hypotenuse. So when I have the adjacent and hypotenuse, again, that's gonna be cosine. So here we're gonna say cosine of theta equals four over the hypotenuse 26, or just like the last one, theta equals the inverse cosine of four over 26. Type in the calculator exactly like it looks on yours. And let's see, that'd be four divided by 26. And this gives me 81.15. And again, that's in degrees, 81.15 degrees for angle theta right there. Hey guys, if you found this video helpful, you might find this video helpful where instead of solving for angles, we solve for the side lengths in some of these right triangles.